At least 60 people are reported to have died trying to cross the Mediterranean from Libya. Around 25 people were rescued from the overcrowded inflatable, saying the engine cut out three days into the crossing, leaving them drifting without food or water. The survivors are being taken to Italy. Nick Beek is uh, in Brussels with the very latest. Nick, another tragedy, it seems, um, in the Mediterranean. Yes, yeah, some really distressing details here, Clive. The vessel was actually spotted by a French charity that tries to rescue people at sea, and they released this video in which you see the 25 survivors. They said they'd been at sea for a week. They were then taken to a bigger rescue vessel. They were given blankets and other sort of support. And it was at this point that they said that during the course of their voyage, some 60 of their fellow passengers had actually died from hunger and dehydration along the way, including a baby and her mother. Tonight, the survivors are still at sea, hoping to be able to make their way to Italy. Now, I've been talking to the European Union's border agency Frontex and they've confirmed to me tonight that one of their aircrafts on the day that this vessel set off, that they actually spotted a vessel overcrowded with more than 50 people on board. This was within Libya's international zone of rescue. And so Frontex are saying that they contacted the Libyan authorities, also the Italian authorities and the Maltese authorities. Now, if there was some sort of official rescue attempt, we certainly don't know about it. And the thing is, Clive, these sort of attempted crossings are happening all the time. The United Nations said that last year, 3,000 people died trying to across the Mediterranean, the highest figure since 2017. And the thing is, the true figures are thought to be much, much higher. And the United Nations have told us tonight that they fear that this year it could be a record-breaking one for all the wrong reasons.